a new case of the Omicron variant has been detected in our area. There is promising news from a small research study which shows that booster shots can actually suppress the new COVID strain. Yeah, a 13 year old from Westchester is the first case of Omicron detected in that county, which is prompting parents to ask when younger children will be eligible for booster shots. Dr. Sharif El Nahal from University Hospital in Newark joins us this morning to explain what these preliminary findings reveal about Omicron. Good morning, Dr. El Nahal. Always great to see you. Good morning. Thanks for having me. For those that don't know, can we revisit what the findings were yesterday, talking about the third dose or the booster shot of Pfizer? Absolutely. So these are very preliminary, small numbers of patients where this study was done. But basically, blood was taken from about a dozen to two dozen patients and uh, tested against a fake version of the Omicron virus and other variants of COVID-19. Mm. And what they found was after two doses of Pfizer, and especially after six months after two doses of Pfizer, there was very little antibodies that were responsive to Omicron, neutralized Omicron. However, in the folks who actually had three doses, that booster, yeah. there was a very robust response and a lot of antibodies that were responsive to Omicron were generated. So that's very encouraging, but it also tells us that if you really want to be protected against that variant, you should get your booster. Yeah, that's encouraging news if you have Pfizer, right? So now you have everybody who has Johnson & Johnson and Moderna saying, well, what about us, right? What about us? So can you expect that you're gonna have similar results with a third dose of a Moderna or a second dose, I guess, of Johnson & Johnson? I think we all hope that's the case and expect so because it's a very similar type of vaccine. It's one of the mRNA vaccines, uh, Moderna that is, which has a similar technology. Jury's still out on Johnson & Johnson. We would need to see similar studies on that one. Yeah, and there was even information yesterday talking about how if you have two doses of two doses of Pfizer and then the Johnson and Johnson booster, that that's more effective than getting the third dose of Pfizer. There's so much confusion. A lot of people don't know, you know, which to do, which to get. That's true. And the fact is, for that booster, you can choose whatever you want. There's this mm -hmm. mix and match authorization from the FDA. Chances are there's very little difference, to be frank, uh, on the effect. The importance is you just get it. Important to get boosters six months after Pfizer and Moderna and two months after Johnson & Johnson, especially with Omicron on the horizon. So can we expect the FDA to clear the way then for booster shots within the coming days, right? Because I think some people might say, well, I'm, I, I want to get the booster, but I want that FDA approval. Well, uh, to be clear, boosters are available to every adult in the United States right now. Uh, anyone over the age of 18 can get it again six months after the mRNA vaccines and two months after. Yeah, I'm J &J. sorry, I meant for but the when younger. It, when it comes to adolescents and when it comes to younger kids, we do, I think, need a little bit more data. The FDA has to consider that uh, separately. But I do think it's likely that boosters will show a particularly good effect in that age group as well. Uh, and we'll see how it goes. And how long should we wait from the time that you get your vaccine and your, your two vaccines and you're considered fully vaccinated before you get that booster shot? Well, remember, it's six months after one of the mRNA vaccines, Pfizer and Moderna. That's actually the vast majority of people who've been vaccinated. And if you got the Johnson & Johnson vaccine, you can get it as soon as two months after. And you can't get it soon enough. In particular, uh, folks who got J&J &J see a much lower effectiveness over the same period of time. They really need that booster to get up to par. So there is this word, Dr. Elna Hall, that researchers are already working on a new vaccine targeting Omicron. You and I spoke a little bit about this this Sunday on Picks on Politics. It could be ready by next spring. Would that be an additional vaccine on top of what we already have? Kind of explain that logistically. Yeah, it's important to make sure that it works. So that's step one, to make sure the base of clinical trials show protection. It's not necessarily going to be the case. And we have to see what the science says. But very likely, the more we get... Uh, uh, these new vaccines that are designed to newer variants, those will likely end up being the vaccines we use going forward just because it's more likely that Omicron and Delta will be the predominant variants across the world. So as these new formulas are made, those will likely be the ones adopted as we take it on a regular basis. So is it likely based on what you're saying that we will all have to get a fourth shot? So there's some speculation about that. Pfizer executives are saying a fourth shot may be needed. We really need to see the data here. There's a lot of evidence that might say that three shots overall may be enough mm -hmm. for quite some time, even though we saw waning after two shots. Uh, but the reality is the immune system gets better and better at recognizing and learning every time it's exposed. Mm -hmm. And so it may be the case that three shots ends up being enough for quite some time. But then, then possibly 
I mean, I know the jury's still out, but then possibly much like a flu shot, you get a yearly shot. It's just too early to tell. I think that's what most people are expecting. Yeah. But again, you have to wait for the evidence. Got All it. right. Dr. Allen Hall, thanks so much for joining us. It's always so good to have you and giving us this great information this morning. Thank you. All right.